Next Wave DB's coverage of NAB 2011 is made possible by LCD Viewfinder, the essential accessory for DSLR video, CPM Film Tools, your lightweight solution for caging the beast, Manhattan LCD, the affordable solution for high definition monitoring, BNH, the professional source for photo, video, and pro audio. This is Sean Next Wave DV, and I'm here at the Red Giant booth, and I have Karen. She's going to go through some of the uh, new things they have coming up. Hi. So, yeah, we have um, a, a few new tools that we're announcing at the show. Uh, we just put up on our website Colorista Free, and that is um, a scaled-down version of Colorista 2, which is a really popular um, full-featured color corrector for After Effects, Final Cut Pro, Premiere. And uh, Colorista Free, is, like I said, is a scaled-down version that gives the three-way color wheels. Um, and the idea is to really make color correction available to anyone, anywhere, and just let people who maybe haven't tried it, just try it, see what this full-powered, um, you know, really well-tested color corrector. Yeah, I'm really excited about it because I've actually done uh, some tr uh, training with uh, just color correcting with the available tools inside After Effects and okay. Premiere. So being able to see that this is available for right. free, I'm really excited about yeah. that. And it also enables a CDL workflow, which is a more specialized high-end workflow for the color decision list that lets you communicate color across compliant software and hardware devices. So okay. that's a, a little more of a specialized workflow, but there's sort of a two-fold um, approach there for us. So. And I also saw you have a uh, uh, app for is iPhone and also the iPad. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. We have two. So we have a, a, an app now up on the App Store called Plastic Bullet. Um, it's been pretty popular. It's a lot of fun photo tool. And so we've just announced two new tools, uh, Noir or new, new apps, Noir and uh, Movie Looks. And so they aren't available yet, but they will be probably within the next two weeks up on the App Store. And uh, Movie Looks is basically putting, um, taking our looks technology that we have for After Effects and Premiere and Final Cut Pro, and we take the, the essence of that and make it available on your iPhone. So it allows you to trim a video that you have and then apply these looks from uh, various sets of eight or so packs. And then we also have in-app purchases to unlock um, like some really, like there's a blockbuster pack that makes your, your uh, video on your iPhone look like what you see on the movie. So it's pretty cool. So it's, it's, it starts out with eight presets that you can use? Um, there's, there's two packs of eight, so there's 16 different preset looks, and then there's three other packs that you can un unlock. Do you have any control manually to do create your own look, or is it just the presets? Uh, just the presets for now, yeah, yeah. And so and it's also an iPhone-only app right now, so... And then, yep. Do you have any plans for Android? Um, at the time, no, we don't. Yeah, it's, we're looking at iPhone and iPad apps. So Noir, speaking of which, is also an iPad app, so it's iPhone and iPad, and it allows you to apply these sort of monochromatic effects or look to your to your photos, and it's a very cool app. And what I like about this one is just the interaction itself. So it lets you apply a vignette to your photos, and then you have control over the contrast in within and and out, or inside and outside the vignette, and you can really apply some dramatic lighting to your photos and it's, um, it's just a very fun app to use and it's, it makes some really beautiful pictures. So those two, um, like I said, a couple weeks, two ninety nine each. So, yeah. And uh, where can people go to find more information also pick up Colorista Free? Okay, at redjoint.com. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Karen. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Subscribe to us on YouTube and visit nextwavedv.com for more news and training for video and filmmakers.